Hi guys, um, as promised today I'm going to show you how to do, um, put, I'll put glitter in some gel, if you're using gel and you don't use acrylic, like I've used acrylic to embed these um, glitters from Diamond Glitters, uh, the Fairy Garden Collection, I've had a few requests for a video here, so what I'm doing today is, um, this is just a Young Nails uh, gel called Flex, it's quite thin, uh, flexible, if you have like a, um, a builder gel with a thick consistency mixing the glitters aren't going to be as easy so a nice sort of thin moldable gel i've just got a display tip here which i've buffed off um and i've also i'm going to try something hopefully it works and here's a little bit of cjp's uh, magenta acrylic which we're also going to use today um i do normally have a square um, tile just literally like a bathroom tile but for some reason in my lovely mess that I've made I can't seem to find it so what we're going to start with here it's just a just plate a normal plate out the kitchen a ceramic one and this is a um, just like a spatula that you can get from hobby craft or anywhere I use this quite a lot when I'm uh, mixing the gels you only want to make enough mix really for um, one application because it doesn't last. Um, Greg Salo uh, taught uh, people this on his YouTube um, site. This is where I learned it from. So if you can see that, I've put a little bit of uh, flex gel there. And here is Fairy Garden glitters in my pot. Then you just want to put a tiny bit of sprinkle. I, mean, I might need a bit more gel in a minute, but there's a bit to start off with. And what you need to do is to press it into the gel here. Yeah, I'm going to need a tiny bit more, you know. Um, here we go. Let's try not to get too much glitter in my pot. So as you can see, you're just pressing it out, scraping it up, pressing it out. Scrape it up, press it back. Because the more you mess with it, the more a chance of air bubbles. And as you can see... Can you see that? That's in there nicely. Um, if you want to change the colour, like mine looks a little bit pink, so I've got CJP's more on, um, it's faded. You can put a little bit of acrylic powder in as well. Not too much, but just enough to make a difference. Again, scrape it up, press it down. And you, you can see with all the powders, you can make your own colours. But as you say, get a, j a jar that's um, not see-through, because obviously any kind of sunlight will cure your gels that you've just made. You don't want that. I do talk a lot of rubbish, so excuse me. Right, here we go. As you can see... It really is quite pretty. So what I'm going to do now is, because this is a um, display tip, I've buffed it off. Um, and I'm going to just put that little bit of gel on here. And then I'm going to get my gel brush, which i put away. There we go. And I'm just going to really focus this down. Obviously, this is quite thick. I'm just doing it as really quick because my little girl's having a paddy. Um, I think she's tired. What's everybody's uh, thoughts on this clock changing business? I must admit, I don't really like when the clocks change when I got to get up so early. So as you can see, um, I'm just really quickly demoing a little bit of gel here. And look at that. Can you see the colours? Oops, sorry, a bit out of shot. You can obviously put more glitter in the more you want. Equally, whilst you're here, while it's I'm trying to hold that at the same time, you can, if you wanted to, pick up some butterflies, press them in, um, and any more that you want. These are really pretty. This is some of my favourite glitters at the moment. Let's have one down the bottom. I hope you can see this. Still new to videoing, so 
just take this bit off the bottom. Lost a butterfly somewhere. There it is. So as you can see, there's like a first layer of, uh, oh sorry, you're out of shot. Uh, I haven't cured that, I've just literally made, that as the first layer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly do a 30 second uh, flash cure, excuse me being in the way of the camera. Oh, I'm doing really well aren't I? Um, obviously as you can see, if you want to add a little bit more glitter you can. Want to add a bit more pink you can but you just need to make sure that it's um, all mixed in thoroughly quick flash cure there right I'll be with you in a second I'm really not organized today I've had a really long Mother's Day how's everyone's Mother's Day going here we go right then let's grab this that's been flash cured Look at that, that's really pretty. Uh, I'm just going to go in with a second layer. You can have a colour underneath, you know, just you can even have, um, you know, just a normal cover pink gel or um, a white maybe, that might look nice. You can leave it natural like I have, like a frosted kind of colour. Just fill those gaps in. You can even put more magenta in it if you like or any other colour. From any other company. Um, here we go. Obviously now with glitter um, and the, the gel that you've just made, you in effect have um, changed its structure and its formula. So as with anything with a glitter that you do change, you do need to cap it. So I'm just going to cure that now for another 60 seconds. I'm just going to quickly clean up. I wish I could say flash forward and here's the video, but it, I can't do that yet. So small steps. So there we go. But yeah, if you wanted to do some more, for example, let you scrape that up. And then you can scrape it off into a pot and you can use it again later. But um, it's not really recommended that you do keep hold of it for some time. Right, I'm just going to pop this back on here, on there, and move this out of the way before the light cures all my um, stuff. Okay, right. Right, I think that should do it. Um, again, as with, um, as I've just said, see how flat's that? That's nice and flat. Uh, you do need to cap it so i'm going to quick layer of gel flex is quite nice to work with because it is thin and it self levels any kind of builder gel that self levels would work as well remember don't overwork your gel just sort of swing it down There we go. With gel, remember if you want to get a little bit of um, your apex and a bit of an arch, you can always turn your fingers upside down. There we go. Gosh, people on, who make YouTube videos really make it look easy, don't you, Liz Guild? She's really good. If you haven't followed Liz Guild, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's have a look. Perfectly fine. And back in. So then, guys. I will put a, a picture of the finished result. And I hope you've enjoyed that. As I say, you have your glitter here. That you need. Um, oops, wrong lid. Glitter bit of colour if you wanted to, you can just keep it clear and um, some gel, this is Young Nails Flex, any gel will do as I said but nothing too thick otherwise you'll find it difficult to make that paste as you're going in and as I say you can get these from Hobbycraft or eBay, these are just, just a spatula. 
Okay, I'll put a photo in the comments of the finished result. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.